In this tutorial, we'll show you how to get started with Alibaba Cloud's Epsara DB for MongoDB, including creating, migrating, and backing up database files. We will demo the replica set architecture option for MongoDB. You may already have a MongoDB database set up locally. If so, and you wish to migrate to Alibaba Cloud's Epsara DB for MongoDB, first check that your MongoDB installation is working. Start MongoDB with MongoD. Run the command line interface with Mongo. Let's insert a test username password pair we can use for the tutorial. You can also connect to MongoDB using client software such as the Mongo Java Driver Maven library for coding to the database with Java. Epsara DB for MongoDB allows you to import database files. Dump your local database to a backup file with Mongo Dump in a new terminal. Set up Ubuntu OS and MongoDB on an ECS. Let's install everything we need on an Ubuntu 16.04 ECS instance. Log on to the instance and do the requisite Ubuntu update steps. Type apt get update. Then apt get upgrade. Then apt get dist upgrade. Then install MongoDB on the ECS instance. Make sure you have a minimum version 3. You can check what version you have by running MongoD. Then on the Mongo console, run db.version open bracket closed bracket. Remember that for all other operating systems, these instructions will vary. Make sure you follow the correct instructions for the operating system of your choice. Now you can create an Epsara DB for MongoDB instance that is connected to the ECS instance we just created. Go to the Alibaba Cloud product page and click through to Epsara DB for MongoDB. Click Create Instance. Click the Pay as You Go Replica Set tab. Check the details, insert the password for the ECS instance, and click Buy Now. Agree to terms and activate. Now, let's connect to the Epsara DB for MongoDB instance on the ECS instance we have just created. First, we have to whitelist a network CIDR block in order to access the MongoDB instance. Go to the Epsara DB for MongoDB instance and click the Instance ID link, which will take you through to the configuration details. Click through to Whitelist setting. Click Add a Whitelist group, or under Operation, click Manually Modify. The default whitelist blocks all access with 127.0.0.1, so for the tutorial's purposes, we will manually modify the default to 0.0.0.0 forward slash zero. Remember, in the real world, you will want to whitelist just a section of a VPC CIDR block. When you're ready, click OK. After the whitelist has been set, the connection info appears on the Epsara DB for MongoDB Specification Information tab. Make a note of it. Now, SSH into the ECS from a new terminal window. Access the Epsara DB for MongoDB instance with the following command using the primary address. mongo dash dash host primary address colon 3717 dash u root dash p password 888 dash dash authentication database admin. You can also connect to your Alibaba Cloud Epsara DB for MongoDB instance with Java in Eclipse. Before you can access the MongoDB instance in the cloud, you have to open some ports with network configuration changes on the ECS instance. First, install RyNetD on the Ubuntu instance. Next, add the following configuration details to the RyNetD configuration file.
Then, start the RynetD service. Check whether RynetD is running and working properly. Also, make sure to open the MongoDB port 3717 in the security group details of the ECS instance. Go to the ECS Management Console Security Groups and select your security group. Click Configure Rules, then Add Security Group Rules. Open port range 3717 forward slash 3717 to the IP range you wish to have access to your MongoDB instance. We have used 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0 for the tutorial's purposes. Click OK. Log on to the ECS instance. For Java, create a new class and add the appropriate configuration details to match your cloud instance. Copy over your dump directory with SCP to the ECS instance. Check to make sure the files have arrived successfully. Then, you can import the backup dump file with the mongo restore command either in command line or Java or another client. Let's check to see if our local data is now available in the cloud. As with all the other Alibaba Cloud Apsara DB services, Apsara DB for MongoDB has backup configuration settings. You now know how to use Alibaba Cloud's Apsara DB for MongoDB. For more information, visit www.alibabacloud.com. Thanks for watching.